Okay, so to get your scratch working so that you can see my code that I've created for you while also working on your code, you're first going to need to sign in to Scratch and your password should be, if you did it correctly, it should be being up. If it's not working, try a capital B and not capital B. If you can't get it to work, make sure you've correctly spelt it. And if it's still not working, you might need to use someone else's account because I'm not there to reset your password for you. Once you are in, you need to go up to the top here and go to my class. And then the studio that we are working from is Jumping Game. In here, this is my game that I've created that you can have a look at and copy some of the code if you need to. But I do want you to use your own brain and work on it yourself. Don't just copy. So you can click on my game and go see inside so you can see the code that I've created. I have a couple of things that I've just put down to the bottom here, so I'll just get rid of those. And my code looks very similar to the one that you've just watched in the video. When you press the green start button, I jump where I've also done a changing background in there when my score gets higher so you can work out if you'd like to do that as well and then when it runs into the obstacle the game stops I can have a look at my score there and then I need to restart my game so the way that you can use this to work on this or look from this code while you're working on yours if you just copy the link create a new tab and paste that code in there that will mean that you've got my code or my game open and then you can go back to your scratch and you can create a new um, a new project and you can be working on your project while jumping back and looking at my code so remember the first thing that we need to do is save it with your name file save now and then while you're working on your code, you can be looking back and referring to mine over here. Okay, so that's an easy way so you can see both of the code. Make sure that you remember if you delete either of your characters down the bottom, that also deletes the code that you've created. So if I was to press that trash button, all of this code will be deleted and there's no way for me to get it back. So if you're wanting to create a new sprite, you must put the sprite in first and then you can delete this one if you wanted to after you've copied the code over but if you delete it first then that's gone and there's no way to get your code back okay if there's any questions make sure you're asking each other for help you're using your problem solving strategies that you have and 